Welcome to Brain Booster. Ever wondered how the world's largest snake moves, hunts, or even eats? Let's dive into the fascinating world of anacondas. These gargantuan reptiles with their muscular bodies and a multitude of flexible vertebrae have a unique way of undulating across land or through water. Despite their size, they don't rely on venom to kill. Instead, they're constrictors, using their colossal strength to squeeze the life out of their prey. Imagine a creature powerful enough to suffocate a horse or a fully grown black caiman, and then swallow it whole. And how does an anaconda hunt? They're opportunistic ambush predators lying in wait beneath the water's surface, ready to strike when an unsuspecting animal comes to drink. These are no ordinary snakes. These are anacondas, creatures of immense power and surprising agility. These massive reptiles are indeed a wonder of nature, but how do they manage to swallow prey so large? You might be surprised to learn that anacondas are not picky eaters. These opportunistic predators use their massive coiling bodies and backward curved teeth to ambush and constrict their prey, which can be as large as a horse or a fully grown black caiman. Once they've squeezed the life out of their victim, they unhinge their jaws, thanks to some stretchy ligaments, and swallow their meal whole, head first to avoid any obstruction caused by the limbs. Their diet is diverse, ranging from fish, amphibians, and reptiles to birds and mammals like capybaras and peccaries. They mostly hunt near water, laying in wait under the surface until an unsuspecting animal approaches to drink. This strategy often means their prey drowns before the anaconda even begins to constrict. Feeding on such large prey can be dangerous and sometimes leads to serious injuries. But it's a risk these snakes are willing to take, as a single large meal can sustain them for months Quite fascinating, isn't it? Anacondas may be large, but they are surprisingly adaptable creatures. These serpentine behemoths are capable of surviving in a variety of conditions, showcasing their remarkable flexibility. During the dry season, when their habitats experience seasonal flooding, some anacondas enter a state of dormancy. They bury themselves in the mud, waiting patiently for the return of the wet season. However, not all anacondas choose to lie dormant, Many of them display an impressive migratory instinct, traveling great distances in search of alternative water sources. This journey can be quite an ordeal, but it's a testament to their resilience and adaptability. Their constant activity, especially those living near perennial water sources like river basins, further demonstrates their tenacity. Even the male anacondas, in their quest for mates, undertake long journeys, perfectly encapsulating their nomadic nature. Despite their massive size, anacondas are true survivors in the wild. Anacondas are not just large, they have some unique physical traits too. Picture this, colossal bodies draped in olive green scales, adorned with smooth black ovals along their backs and yellowish bellies. But here's what's truly interesting, compared to their vast bodies, their heads are quite small, with eyes and nostrils strategically placed on top. This clever adaptation allows them to remain camouflaged underwater, with just the top of their head peeking out. Now imagine a noticeable black stripe that runs from the eye to the jaw, adding an air of mystery to their appearance. But it's not all about the visuals. The males, which are typically smaller in size than the females, possess claw-like spurs on their lower bodies. These are used to secure their grip on females during mating. And did you know these claws are believed to be remnants of a hind limb from their evolutionary past? These unique features make anacondas a fascinating species to study. Did you know there's more than one kind of anaconda? Yes, indeed, there are four different species of anaconda that grace our planet. The green anaconda, the yellow anaconda, the dark spotted anaconda, and the Bolivian anaconda. Each has its own unique characteristics and habitats. The green anaconda, the species most people refer to when talking about anacondas, is renowned for its massive size and olive green scales. It is at home in the tropical habitats of South America. The yellow anaconda, smaller than its green cousin, has a beautiful yellow skin marked with dark spots and is found in southern South America. The dark-spotted anaconda, as the name suggests, has dark spots on its skin and calls the northeastern parts of South America home. Lastly, the Bolivian anaconda, the least known among the four, is native to the swamps and marshes of Bolivia. While they may vary in size and color, 
All anacondas share the same fascinating traits that make them one of nature's most intriguing creatures.